there guys and girls, welcome to DK Tuning. This is episode 19 of our 700 Golf R build, which you can see behind us. So happy 2020. Sorry we haven't done some content on the Golf R recently in the last few months. Obviously with the winter and Christmas, it's been an absolute nightmare. And we've also been waiting on some parts from across the world for 2020 to build this package into probably 600 horsepower this year maybe a little bit more and then the aim for next year is 700 so we've got some really exciting times coming up guys in this episode we're going to show you us upgrading the DSG clutch pack kit so we found obviously as you've seen in the last few episodes that the DSG box has started slipping because of the amount of torque that we've been running through it and obviously we need to rate that before we push for even more power so we're at about 660 newton meters of torque at the moment on the stock DSG that's the DQ250 that we're running in this gold bar so what we're doing is we're uprating it so we've got a clutch pack kit a stage 3 clutch pack kit from DCT in Romania I think they're based or Ukraine I think sorry if I'm wrong with that and we're going to take the DSG box apart and we're going to uprate the internals of that so the clutch pack should be able to take 800 newton meters then so it's really exciting guys we're really looking forward to pulling this apart seeing what power we can then run on the dyno successfully and I think we can push up to around 700 newton meters quite safely then before we start building the engine um, but we want to see how far we can push it if we blow it up so be it we'll build it stronger um, and that's the whole aim of our development golf r so what we're going to do now guys we're going to take the golf r over to the transmission specialist in canic that we're using um, it's a company that we've used before and we will carry on using for a lot of the transmission stuff the real specialists in what they do so we're going to be taking it over now and we're going to pick it up in a few days and we'll carry on this video and we'll show you what the clutch feels like i don't know if it's going to feel any different i'm not sure i've never driven an uprated dsg box before so it's going to be really interesting we're going to see what it feels like and hopefully we can push for more talk um, in the coming months with a few map tweaks and stuff but for now guys we'll catch you in a bit right guys so it's thursday morning quite early and i'm just about to go over to Canuck to take the Golf R for the DSG clutch upgrade. So let's get on the road guys and head over there now. At Neil Smith's autos over there, oh, I had to park. I'm just gonna kind of whack it through here. And we have landed. Now, like I say in the beginning of this video, guys, we're not gonna be able to obviously film this because it's a lengthy process. Unfortunately, I can't hang around for two days to just film this. So we'll probably try and get a load of photos from Neil uh, whilst he's doing it, and we'll put them obviously into this video so you can see the process and what, what actually happens. We're hoping to pick this up tomorrow or maybe Saturday or Monday now. So uh, it's gonna be a couple of days without the golf, which I'm really sad about but at least it gets this issue sorted and then we can get back to testing. I think we might still have a little misfire, I don't know what that's about, but it could be the DSG clutch because we have got fault codes coming up for the DSG clutch slipping, so it might be that just trying to protect itself, but we'll soon see obviously when we get the car back. So for now guys, um, we are gonna drop it off and uh, we'll catch you in a bit in a few days once the work is done. By the stormy seas, oh, you meant the world to me. Oh. I'm gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye. No, 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 no. never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye. No. So guys, just picked up the Golf R from Neil's Auto Transmissions in Canuck and we are back inside it. I've missed it over the last few days. 
Um, really exciting time. Looking forward to seeing if it's any different. I have no idea if it's going to feel different, if it's going to you know, put the power down differently. I have no idea. Hopefully, we've got rid of a bit of a hesitation at the top end. I didn't know if that was easy trying to protect itself at the time. Uh, we're going to see. If not, we've got a few other bits and bobs to start playing around with and having a look at it. Um, I can't give it too much stick on the way back, unfortunately, because we've got to reset the adaptations and the clutch when we get back on Vagcom. But it'll be interesting to see how it drives. So I'm going to crack back to Wolverhampton now and um, catch you in a bit. So it seems absolutely fine at the moment. Um, back in it, I haven't obviously given it a hammering. It um, seems to be really smooth. Um, doesn't seem to be any issues at all, obviously with the gearbox. Um, just been driving it in normal mode at the moment, so I might have a play around with it in a minute in race mode. But in fact, let's just put it in race mode now. Okay, so that's in race mode now. You probably heard it change up. Seems to be a bit, a bit more talky, to be honest, actually, with this gearbox now. Um, Gear shifts and stuff don't seem any quicker than they were before necessarily because they are quite quick anyway. Um, we've got it in race mode now so it is quite sharp anyway. Um, it feels just as it did before like I say it seems to have a bit more torque. It does seem a bit sharper pulling off as well. I uh, don't know what would cause that but I assume obviously with an uprated clutch it's going to be it's going to have that sort of those sort of characteristics on it. So I'm hoping in the minute just to go on to the M54 and hopefully if it's pretty quiet we can um, give it a little bit of stick just to see how the um, gearbox handles and if there's any difference to it and also to see if that sort of juddering at the top of the RPM has disappeared. I've got a horrible feeling it's not going to have um, because we really can't narrow it down. We've changed spark plugs and coil packs and all sorts. So the DSG box, as you can see obviously in this video, is completed and we are over the moon with it. We've done all the resets and the calibration on it now, so it seems absolutely perfect now. It did have a bit of clunking at the start, it just needed the uh, calibration resetting in a really good diagnostic tool um, on ours and our Autel in the garage. So we've done that and it is really good. Now it's holding the torque a hell of a lot better. It seems like it's got more torque. 
we're just really over the moon with it it seems a lot sharper and um, there's no more juddering right at the top end um, there's no more issues with it so we're really really happy and we can't wait to get it on track soon this year to really test that power out but yeah there's loads more to do to this to get it ready for the track so in the next few episodes next episode is around some more parts that we've got to put on it so we're going to be putting those on we're then going to be doing some more mapping we have got an intake manifold that has arrived that is going to be going on it at some point and then meth and then we're pushing for 600 horsepower so this year is going to be really good we've got a few track days coming up guys we've got Kerbera, which is the 22nd of april which is our own track day it's the dk tuning track day it's really popular only 15 spaces so if you want a space on that drop us a message let us know get in contact and we'll hook you up with that but for now guys thank you ever so much thank you ever so much for watching this video we are going to end it here with some sexual noises coming from the r700 and please subscribe please like the video and we will catch you guys soon bye for now